So here we're going to walk you through the fourfold roto inversion operation, which we would symbolize as a bar four. Now, this would be distinguished from a simple fourfold rotational axis where we would rotate something, any motif, through 90 degrees, and then we would be done. No, in this case, we're not going to be done. We're going to rotate 90 degrees and then invert through an inversion point, and we'll label it I. And there it is in this nice diagram by Bloss. So here's the bar four. So in this diagram, A1 is representing our first motif, in this case, a hand. Notice that it is a right hand. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees, which would put it over here somewhere. Not just anywhere, but exactly at 90 degrees from this fellow. Uh, but not being done yet to create the next motif, we have to invert through this point where the fingertips would be up here, and then project to give us the fingertips down here. Maybe we can draw kind of like a hand, and then the wrist would be here. So the wrist would project through and give us that, and then the fingertips would project through and give us that. So here's A2, our second motif. We can rotate A2 90 degrees, and then invert upwards to get A3. A3 would be rotated again, and then whatever would end up over here remains imaginary because we need to invert once again to get A4. And then if we take A4 and rotate it again, we'd end up here at the bottom uh, back part of the sphere. And if we inverted it through that point, that inversion point there, then we'd be back at A1. So the bar four in this case gives us four different motifs. Uh, and they're shown here, A1, A2, A3, A4. If we kept repeating the operations an infinite number of times, we would not get any new motifs. So this operation, this recipe or instruction set is a way to give us four motifs that are arranged in this pattern. And again, like our other operations, instead of a hand, which we use because you can uh, look at the handedness, and you can pause here or maybe stare at it when the video is done. Compare how often we change the hand handedness from right to left. Uh, we start with a right hand, and then every time we invert, we should change handedness and get a left hand. So in that instruction set, it could be atoms, it could be atom clusters or molecular clusters, uh, which is what we would be considering in uh, crystallography or mineralogy. Uh, but it really could be anything, any, any kind of uh, three-dimensional array that has this pattern can be described by the bar four instruction set.